What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to Fallen Tide TV. As always, my name's Nate. And on today's episode, I'm gonna be tagging along with a buddy of mine on a duck hunt. A buddy of mine named Jacob uh, on his place. I think another buddy named Gavin's gonna be out there too. We're gonna be hunting a little bit of freshwater marsh. Um, I hunted out there last year with them a couple of times. It was a, it was a real good time. Killed some ducks. Um, they've been doing pretty good out there, and uh, I'm excited. Weather conditions have been good. Um, it's not real cold yet, but it's been rainy. It's been misty. We've had good wind, and uh, hopefully this morning's a good morning. So, yeah, guys, I'm making my way over there, and uh, we'll be getting started here in a few minutes. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. What do you say, bro? I'm gonna try to get them this morning. Good wind. This might end up being a wish list, you boy. Them fold this year. Yeah, they find low in this wind. They come in there. They let them land. Look at them. It's technically shooting light right now. It's shooting light. That's crazy. It's so dark. Sound like a good vlog. One. Oh yeah. Shoot that thing when it gets close. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, there's some right here, look. Shoot him. Shoot him. They got one swimming right here. Oh, that's they got two over here. One on the right there. That one's still headed up right here. I think he just that one's headed up. Finish him. Hold on, dude. Yeah, I guess it's gonna be a whistle to shoot. <laughs> I can't see the regular dug at all. Not, not yet. <laughs> I won't be mad at it. Not at all, dude. That's a uh, big flock on my other. Thought about it. Oh my lord. Shoot him. I whiffed all three shots that close. <laughs> This hunt is happening about as fast as any other hunt I've ever been on. Yeah, boy, Doug. Gotta go make a bird round up just to make sure I count as 100% accurate. We don't wanna make no mistakes here. Bro, I feel like Ramsey Russell. <laughs> Shooting exotics, bro. Be <clears throat> ready. I'm gonna stay right here. Thank you, buddy. You the man, you the best guide in South Louisiana. You ever thought about guiding? No. Not it? No. This this your fun, huh? You, this, you don't want this to be work. Yeah, uh <laughs> it already is work. I feel like a <laughs> It already is work. Get out of it completely. Like, 
Yeah. Get a sucker. Where did he come from? It probably was a crook. <laughs> oh, I see him using that, in that lilies right there on the right. Yeah. Alive. He's alive? There ain't no way that thing's he's alive. Not, no, no, no. He's, he's I see some. See, see that wing? Yeah, I see him. Yeah, I was just, that's what I was pointing. I was marking him. Yeah. Ain't no way that sucker ain't oh, he's dead. Yeah, he's probably good. He's just doing a little arm flip. That's that death flap, bro. That thing was. No telling how long that thing was sitting in there. Oh, he might come mess around. He's right there. Yeah, he's coming. He's coming right in. Good shot. Damn. Kiss take it, huh? <laughs> yeah, you don't want it. Damn. Well, yeah, well, he's right there in the bush. Yeah, he's. <coughs> you can walk right there. <coughs> walk. I ain't walking. I patted the P rog in that the other day. Yeah, but where them city is always hard. Oh. But, uh, I mean, that's where he's at. <coughs> Thank you, my dude. You're the best. Damn, bro. One thing I like. Oh, bro. It That's gonna be about as pretty as a shot cam clip gets. Yeah. <laughs> that should be like right down the line right here. Yeah, okay, right here. All right, y'all. What a hunt, fellas. That one was fun. Oh, yeah. That's different. <laughs> oh, whistling duck shoot. Louisiana is changing, y'all. It changes every year, but it's really changing now. That's uh, it's not something you used to be able to do 15 years ago right there. The whistling ducks have uh, made themselves right at home here in Louisiana. I'll take it. I like that. That's fun. I got something right here. We got something right here we about to pick that's gonna go with these ducks. I think a whistling duck is the best tasting duck in the world. And that is the best tasting mushroom in the world. Look at that y'all. Beautiful oyster mushroom. Or champignon like we call it down here. That's gonna go good with them ducks. Well, I wish we had a whole bunch of them sitting on this tree right now. Yeah. All right, y'all. I got six of these whistlers here. I'm about to get cleaned up. But before we clean these ducks, what I wanted to do, I wanted to plug uh, this right here for my for my buddy, Mr. Dale Bordelon. He he sells these. This is an old school duck tote right here. This is like they like they made them during the during the market hunting era and uh this is old school as it gets right there and he made this and i got it from him and i just wanted y'all to to know that's what it is it's not just some funky duck tote that i got made i mean this is traditional right here and uh 
I believe in keeping old traditions alive. And whenever I saw he was selling these, I went ahead and got me one. So I just wanted to point that out to y'all. But one of the things I wanted to point out on these black belly whistling ducks, uh, if y'all ever get y'all any, don't waste the legs. The legs got a lot of meat on them. So what I'm going to do is the dish I'm going to cook today. I don't need the legs. I'm going to put them in a separate, in a separate pile here. And I'm going to cook them for probably a football game or something like that when I got some company over. But uh, the dish I'm using, I'm just going to be using the breast. But do not waste these legs right here. These legs got a lot of meat on them, y'all. They, uh, they, they are, they are, they are a perching duck. You know, they're, they're a tree duck. So they use their legs a lot more than, than, than normal puddle ducks do. So I'm about to get these things cleaned up and, uh, we're gonna be eating this for supper tonight. This with the mushrooms. I'm gonna fry up the mushrooms and I'm gonna sear these duck breasts here. It's gonna be delicious. These, this is a very mild tasting duck right here. It's, uh, it's red meat, but it's a very mild red meat in there. They're very delicious. So I, I, I personally, my personal opinion is uh, a whistling duck is the best table fare duck out there, period. I think a teal is really good too. I, I, I like teal. Every pintail that I've ever eaten has been delicious. And these whistlers right here, I think, rival any duck, if not better. So do not pass up on these things, guys. If y'all get an opportunity to shoot whistling ducks, shoot them. Don't pass them up. They're not a trash duck. This is a very, very tasty duck. Show y'all what that leg looked like. Look at that. Look at that. Is that like no other duck leg you've ever laid your eyes on? Look at that. It's a, it's a lighter colored meat than any other duck you've probably ever seen. And there's a significant amount of meat on that thing. You don't want to waste that. Just wanted to show y'all that. Look at that, y'all. Fresh black belly whistling duck and fresh fried oyster mushrooms. I wonder what the rich folks are eating, y'all. I'm telling y'all, black belly whistling duck is really good. These oyster mushrooms are a delicacy as well. Me and the family are about to sit down and enjoy this dinner. I really hope that y'all enjoyed today's video. It was a blast getting out there doing something a little bit different. It felt like an exotic hunt to me, guys. It was a lot of fun. I really appreciate y'all for coming along. If you're not already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button, leave this video a like, and I'll see y'all next time on Fallen Tide TV.